going on with the weather in Victoria? I can't figure it out. It's called Rain Fargo. Oh. <laughs> there you go, folks, here on the Fargo 1H show. It's 725. Free tickets if you listen to the Fargo 1H. Sarah. Are you okay? Oh my god! Honey? Oh my god! What? I'm naked! Yeah, so? You didn't do this, did you? Do what? Take my nightie off and, and, and put me on the bed like that. I don't know. I mean, uh, we had sex last night, remember? Yes, but I, I put my nightie back on and I got back under the covers. Okay, so... I was on top of the covers just like when you were abducted. Oh, uh, wait. Just hang on for a minute. Let's, let's not get carried away. I guess for Eric, didn't I? Uh, didn't I? Uh, okay, yes. Well, just like you did. Uh, they took me, Roger. Those bastards. What? what? God, they didn't even have the decency to return me with my clothes on. It must be male. You pigs! This is the final straw, Roger. Something has to be done. Okay. Do you feel any different? Yes. I feel humiliated. I mean, who knows what they did to me? What they did it with. I've never felt so violated in my whole life. No, I meant, do you, do you feel... What? Horny. Is that all you can think about? Well, yeah, but, but that's... I'm going to check on the kids. I guess that would be no. Abnormal frequencies are rattling my mind. There's no mistake in this thing is shaking me up inside. Feels a bit peculiar standing in the crowd. Been my experience, much interference to bring it down. So good. Isabel? Isabel? What? It's Mom. I need to come in. No! Isabel, this is serious. I'm coming in, okay? What? Are you all right? Don't I look all right? Mom, what are you doing? Stop oh! it! Don't you ever! Never do that again! Do you hear me? What's the matter with you? You're naked? So? I sleep naked! You know what? You can't do this! It's my body, not yours! You can't just come in here and look at it whenever you feel like it! I never felt so violated in my whole life! You sleep naked? Mom! Since when? It's none of your business! Now would you get out of here? I'm sorry, I just... I was worried about you. Isabel, I was taken last night. Oh, shit. I woke up on top of the covers and I was naked. So when I saw that you were, I just... Mom, I'm fine, okay? Maybe you should go check on Cameron. I heard something going on in there last night. You did? Yes. But you should go check. Oh, my God. Holy shit. It's okay. I thought she was on us for sure. Come on, you gotta get out of here. What was she talking about being taken? I mean, where was she taken? Nowhere. She just gets insane like that sometimes. It's like a menopause thing or something. I don't know. I mean, my stepmother's menopausal and she's never acted like that. She really is insane. Yeah, well, you're lucky. Come on, hurry up. What are we gonna do? 
I'll go out there and distract them. Is that? And... Oh, you did... He's not there. Oh, Cameron, he's not in his room. He's not downstairs. So? Roger? Roger? Yeah. Did you find him? No. He's not outside anywhere? Not that I could see. Oh, my God. Are you serious? You heard something? They've taken him again, haven't they? No, we don't know that. What if, what if they don't bring him back? I'm sure he's around somewhere. Come on, let's take another look. Where else would he be? I mean, he never gets up this early. What about Dad? Did you see him? He's in his room. Dad? Dad? Hang on, I'm coming, I'm coming. What? Dad, have you seen Cameron anywhere? No. What's going on? We can't find him. You think the aliens got him again? Dad, this isn't funny. He probably just went to school early. He is a geek, after all. Without his backpack? And look, his homework is still here. Okay. What did you hear last night? Nothing. Isabel, you told me you heard something. I did. I just don't know what it was. Isabel. What? Tell us the truth. Why wouldn't I tell you the truth? I don't know. Why did you tell us you were abducted when you hadn't been? Look, I heard something, okay? If you don't want to believe me, then fine. Don't believe me. I don't care. You don't care? Oh. What did you hear? I don't know. It was kind of like a buzzing noise, I think. I'm calling the police. Oh, wait a minute, honey. No, I am calling them. She doesn't even know what she heard. Mom. Nina? Hi, Mrs. Blundell. Hi, Mr. Blundell. Hi. What are you doing here? Um, I came to see Isabel, but it sounds like it's a bad time, so I was just gonna leave. Yeah, I told her to come by and wake me up. Uh, Nina, you, you haven't seen uh, uh, Cameron anywhere this morning? No. What, did something happen to him? Uh, well, we just don't. Sarah. I'll see you at school, okay? Okay. <laughs> Roger! Let's just talk about this for a minute, okay? I don't want to talk about it anymore. We need to do something. Mom, what are you going to tell them? You can't tell them what, the tr truth. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to tell them, because you know what? It is the truth. We don't... We don't know what the truth is, do we? Roger, I know that I was abducted last night. And I know that right now Cameron is missing. And I know that Isabel heard a strange buzzing noise coming from his room last night. So what more do you want? She thinks. She thinks she heard a sound. And I didn't say it was strange. I mean, it was just a normal buzzing noise, that's all. And, and we, we don't even know that you were really abducted. I mean, not really. Hmm? Or any of us, for that matter. I mean, I mean, not for sure. You don't believe me? No. No, I mean, yes. I... Oh, sh**. It's them. Them? The police. They're calling back to see why we phoned them. Okay. We just, we just won't answer it. But then they just might come over. All right, well, then I'll, I'll tell them that it was a mistake. Hello? Hi, this is emergency services calling. Someone from your home just dialed 911. Don't say Do you have an emergency there? Mom, don't. Come on, Sarah, just... Hello? Listen. Do you have an emergency there? Uh, yes. Uh, 
Hey. What do you say? I'll just hang back a sec till we see what's what. That sounds good. Hi. I understand you've got a missing child, is that right? Uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Sir, that's not right? 11x53, 11x53. Yes. Yes, that's not right. No, uh, it's... Uh... He's missing. Yes, but... Oh, uh... Um, come in, uh, please. Okay. So this is your son we're talking about. Yes. What's his name? Uh, Cameron. Blundell. Uh, his last name is Blundell. It's a two. How old is Cameron? He's 13. Uh, four, 14. 14. Yeah. Has he gone missing before? No. Yes. OK, I'm confused. Has he gone missing before or not? Yes, he has. It's. <laughs> Do you know, it's just hard to explain. Roger, I, this is the second time that our, uh, our son's been abducted. Okay, now you're saying that he was abducted. Oh, boy. Yes. Maybe. We don't know for sure. All we know is that he's not here. Roger, stop it! We don't know for sure! Okay, Mr. Blundell, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to get you to stay here while I talk with your wife in the other room for a minute, all right? No, I don't really think that that's That's fine. Good you idea. just hang tight. No, I think it would be better if we talk. Roger! We should talk together. Mr. Blundell, I'm not asking. This is the way we're going to do it. Okay. Fine. Let's go in there then. Okay, yeah. Mac, uh, should you come and take a statement from the, the husband? And uh, get Davis to check around the yard? Copy that, coming in. Hi. Hi. You're the father? Yeah, yeah, you, 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 you've got to understand. She's, she's just having a rough day. Why is that? Well, she didn't, she didn't get any sleep. She's just stressed. It's just stress, you know. Sure. Can I get your name? So you understand why I had to separate the two of you? Yes, I do. You and your husband seem to have a different idea of what's going on here. Well, he knows what's happened. He's just uh, ashamed to admit it. OK, well, why don't you tell me what's happened then? All right. Um, last night, our, uh, our son was... Uh, abducted from his bedroom. OK, you know there's a big difference between saying someone has gone missing and saying they are abducted. Yes, I do. My son was abducted. OK, do you know who abducted him? We, um, we know uh, wh what they are. We just haven't actually seen them before. OK, so you're saying there was more than one person involved. Not people. Not people. This is going to sound crazy, all right? I'm not crazy. You can ask anybody. None of us are. We're just a normal family. We were a normal family. Ma'am, do you know who abducted your son? Aliens. OK. Look, it's the truth, all right? I know you don't believe me, but it's the truth. They, they've been taking us and, 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 and doing things, making changes. Now, I, I know that they took me last night. I don't know what they did, but they took me. I saw him last night after dinner. He went to bed. Is this who you're looking for? Cameron. Sarah, it's OK, he's back. Yeah, I, I'm fine. A woman uh, in a car dropped him off just up the street, and he just walked up the house. A woman? Were you at your girlfriend's? No. She was just giving me a ride. The woman did look to be about 30. That wasn't my girlfriend. So you're single then? What? No, no, I, I have a girlfriend. But that wasn't her, I swear. Mac. Well, where was she giving you a ride from? Nowhere. 
I went for a walk, and on my way back, she offered me a lift. Did you see? You see, he just went for a walk. I think it might be useful if I got a statement, just in case. Maybe I'll just take him into the other room and It's OK, him. Mac. Cool it. You got up early and, and went for a walk? Yeah, I, I couldn't sleep. Are you sure? Sarah, it's over now. Uh, we are really, really sorry about this, officers. But what, what about the noise that came from your room last night? What was that? Last night? Yes, Isabel heard a buzzing noise. I got up to go to the bathroom, but I never left the house. Yeah. It must have been him going to the bathroom. That sounds like buzzing, right? OK. Mystery solved. Thanks for coming by. No. They were here last night, and you know it. I was abducted. Mom. No, I, look, we can't go on like this. We need help. Isabel, come on. Tell them. Tell them what the aliens have been doing to us. Roger? Cameron? Tell them. Look, there must be some uh, department or agency that you can send us to. Please? <clears throat> okay, Mrs. Blundell, I'm going to need to talk to your husband now. So if you could wait here with Officer Davis while we go into the other room. You're going to talk about me, aren't you? I didn't say that. Now, I spoke with you earlier. Now I need to speak with your husband. If you're going to talk about me, then I have a right to know what you're going to say. So you might as well say it right here. It is my opinion that you need a psychiatric evaluation. What? Whoa, whoa, ho hold on. That, that's a, a little extreme, isn't it? No, I don't believe so. The fact is, if your children were any younger, I would have to take your wife into custody right now. Oh, my God. What? Well, hang on. What the hell is going on? What are the police doing here? Dad, now's not a good time. I'll see. Now, what's going on? Nothing. Look, look, everything's all right. We found Cameron. Yeah, it, it's OK, George. Just a, a, a big misunderstanding. You can go now. Yeah, come on, come on, Dad. Why don't you go back up to your room? You see the way they talk to me? Who's the CO here? I am. Let me tell you something. I'm 79 years old. I'll admit, I may not be as sharp as I once was. I may even be a little senile. But this much I know for sure. I am by far more sane than anyone in this family, especially uh, this one here. I'm going over to Roxanne's. And no, you don't have to remind me. I'll try my best not to have sex with her. Look, up until a few weeks ago, I was like you, okay? I, I wouldn't have believed me either. I, I would have said, take her away, she's crazy. But I'm not. <laughs> this really is happening to us. I understand, ma'am. The fact remains, you need to have the psychiatric evaluation. I thought it was your job to protect us. Believe it or not, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. Now, Mr. Blundell, I'm going to need your assurance that you see that she gets the evaluation. Otherwise, I will have to get health services and maybe even social services directly involved. Do you understand? It's just a difficult morning. Can't, can't we just leave it at that? No, I'm afraid we can't. Now, do I have your assurance or not? Mr. Blundell. No. She doesn't need an evaluation. She's been telling the truth. I, I have been abducted, too. <laughs> OK. You see, these, these, these aliens, they just won't leave us alone. He's right. They even took our grandfather. Isn't there something you can do? They haven't taken me yet. But it's true about the abductions. He's totally been taken. I have not. He turned into, like, 
A chick magnet overnight. I am the only one who has not been abducted. Well, she lied and said that she had so that she could get drunk at dinner. Bullshit, Isabel. Okay, okay, okay. I get the picture. Officer, can't, can't you help us? Yes, but I don't think you're going to see it as help. Well, we can't all be crazy. Oh, that's not for me to decide. I am going to write up the report and pass it along to the appropriate authorities. After that, it's out of my hands. You really don't believe us. I believe that you believe this is happening. <laughs> that's original. I'm sorry, we can't be more help. Have a good day. Mac. Mac. Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'm really sorry. I don't know what happened in there. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Coop. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> you know how you're always saying that uh, you've heard it all before? And there's a... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> you got me. This is definitely a first. <laughs> what do you do? All right. I'll see you guys. Yeah. Mac? You coming? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Five, seven kilo, we're ten, seven, taking a look. So, is it? Alien? Most definitely. But it wasn't orange before. I'll need a fresh sample. Of what? Your sperm. <laughs>